What is up, Summoners? My name is Nathan Ng, and I'm here with the update that we promised for patch 12.15. If you want to know what the changes are ahead of time, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll provide you guys with the nerfs, buffs, and adjustments that you can expect to see next patch. Note that for the most part, most of these changes are usually the ones that you see hit the live server. However, they aren't final, so don't be surprised if any of them get scrapped, or if there are any last-minute adjustments. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content like this, and let's get the video started. While there aren't many coming up, let's start with the skins. There's a good chance that Riot is aiming for quality over quantity in this next coming set. With that being said, the three skins that we can expect to see soon are Monster Tamer Lulu and Vagar, as well as Zatma, which is the Monster Tamer version of Kogma. These skins are adorable and give the characters futuristic look alongside a unique alternate universe to look into. Check those out and definitely consider purchasing them once they're released. Now let's talk about the balance changes. I do want to note that we won't cover every detail in this video, but the ones that we do miss will be covered in our patch rundown next week. That being said, let's begin with the system changes. By design, First Strike adds a huge variable of risk. You're sacrificing a little combat power for a chance of picking up extra gold and scaling faster. However, at the moment, the sacrifice feels non-existent, as the Keystone gives its user plenty of damage to help them out. Many late game champions are able to hit their late game fantasy a little bit too reliably because of the current state of the rune, so it's going to receive a nerf next patch. The damage will be reduced by 2%, which is a pretty significant amount at all stages of the game. Users will miss out on the trading power early, and also potentially end up losing kills faster and later into the game. Moving forward, aggressive opponents should have a better chance of shutting down champions who are trying to quickly scale up using First Strike. Next up is the item Divine Sunderer. Once again, Riot is hitting it with a nerf, but understandably so. It's already received 4 nerfs this season, but that's because people keep building it on champions that they're not supposed to. Obviously, they keep doing so because, well, it's too good. It provides practically every stat any champion could want, damage, durability, and even a little bit of sustain. To discourage non-fighters from trying to build and dip into it, Riot is going to reduce the healing it provides in the next patch. Unfortunately, this also hurts the fighters that it's designed for, but it is what it is. Next up, we have some buffs to talk about. For system buffs, we have buffs coming up for Quicksilver Sash's upgrades. Mercurial Scimitar and Silver Meridon are set for some buffs, and those details will be covered in our patch 12.15 rundown. Silver Mirror Dawn, specifically, isn't built very often, so I'm not surprised that Riot has decided to give these items some love moving forward. There are some champs that we're still waiting on for some details as well. Namely, these are Singe, Master Yi, and Talia. I'll run you guys through the vast majority of the champion changes moving forward, but note that the ones I just mentioned, you'll have to wait until our patch rundown video to learn more. Beginning with the top lane, let's talk about Shen. Shen, alongside other energy-based champions, is up for a buff. In his case, his E will restore more energy at later ranks, up from 30 to 40 per champion hit to 30 to 50. Similarly, Kennen is also receiving a buff. However, unlike Shen, he's receiving direct combat buffs rather than energy adjustments. His W's cooldown will be reduced at earlier ranks, the damage increased, and the ultimate's AP ratio will also be raised. Currently sitting at a 47 or a low 48% win rate, it's definitely a well needed buff. Next on the list is Gwen, who's actually getting nerfed. At the moment, she's far too popular in competitive play as well as high elo. Her Q's true damage conversion will be reduced, hopefully having minimal impact on most solo Q players, but it's more likely that players at all levels will notice this change. Since this patch is targeting energy-based champions, I also want to ask you guys a question of the day. Do you think champions that don't rely on mana are balanced fairly? I personally think that champions who don't have any costs, like Katarina or Aatrox, have an unfair advantage over champions who do have to manage their resources. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and let's continue on with the video. That's it for the top lane, so let's hop into the jungle next. In the jungle, we have a big buff coming up for Lilia. This change is intended to specifically assist her jungling as she's already doing pretty well in the top lane. Her passive damage cap against monsters will be raised significantly, from 40 to 100 to 50 to 150. As a result, her clear speed should have increased significantly at all stages of the game, giving her a chance to scale faster and also provide her more time to gain for her teammates. Ramis is also up for some massive buffs to his E and his ultimate. His E's taunt duration will be increased, while his ultimate should be easier to hit. It'll also have its cooldown adjusted, reduced significantly at rank 1, slightly reduced at rank 2, and increased slightly at max rank. This adjustment is definitely worth it in the late game, as you usually have enough ability haste for it to be available every single fight anyway. Now, for another energy champion change, Lee Sin is receiving a buff as well. It's a seemingly small one, but I wouldn't be surprised if it had bigger effects in practice. His energy cost on the second cast of his Q, W, and E will be reduced by 5. That covers the jungle changes, so let's move on to the mid lane next. Akali is first, and she's also said to receive more energy to work with. Her W will restore 20 more energy than before, which is huge. She usually runs out of energy in the middle of explosive fights, so having that extra energy should help her in practice. Zed is also receiving a buff. In his case, his E will cost 10 less energy than before, which can certainly add up given that it's a pretty short cooldown. For nerfs, let's talk about Kiana. 
She's demolishing solo queue at the moment with over a 52% win rate in high elo. Next patch, her passive bonus AD ratio will be lowered by 15%, significantly cutting down her scaling into the mid and late game. That covers the mid lane changes, so let's run through the bottom lane. For the bottom lane, we have some important nerfs to discuss. The first is for Sivir, who has been running rampant ever since her mid scope update. Next patch, she'll have her AD growth reduced, and both her E and ultimate cooldowns increased. As a result, she'll be a lot more vulnerable than before, making it easier for divers and tanks to actually lock her down. Kalista is also receiving a nerf as she's seen some impressive performance as of late. Her base AD will be reduced by 3, which is a big nerf to her early game. Since her early and mid game are her strongest points of the game, this specific kind of nerf hits much harder. With the bot laners covered, we'll conclude with some support changes. Enchanters have a free pass for way too long, and Riot is buffing up some of the more aggressive supports moving forward. First on the list is Leona. Her Q's mana cost will be reduced slightly, but the big buff that she's getting is her ultimate, which is going to have its stun duration increased. It's a significant buff at all points of the game, as the extra lockdown gives her and her allies more time to score takedowns on their targets. Thresh is also set to receive a well-needed buff. His Q will have his cooldown reduced and the base damage increased, pretty much the best change Thresh players can ask for. He's getting more lockdown and more damage to help him and his lane partner pick up some early kills. That concludes our upcoming changes for patch 12.15. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and like always, feel free to share any of your thoughts in the comments below. If you'd like to be the first to learn about any future giveaways or join our community, check out the description where you can find a link to join our Discord server. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.